Hello, welcome to YouTube channel Facts Sai Guy. So, guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about top 10 fascinating facts about our Earth atmosphere. Guys, Earth atmosphere is the unique among all the planets and moons we know, both in our own solar system and in our slightly less area. It's the product of 4.7 billion years of evolution shaped by everything from its proximity to the sun to the rise of photosynthesis life. Without our cherished atmosphere, our planet would be lifeless, baked by the scorching rays and radiation of the sun during the day and physically cold during the night. One only needs to look to Mars to see what happens to a planet when most of its atmosphere gets lost to space for the aeons. In this video, I am going to be exploring some of the things that make the air we be so special. The first one is, the Earth has three atmospheres. Today, atmosphere consists of 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen and traces of various Earth's elements and compounds including varying amounts of water vapor, leaving the head and heaven. However, when our planet was young, the air was a product of the solar nebula that gave birth to planets over 4.5 billion years ago. This very primordial world was ravaged by impact events and volcanism. Eventually, a combination of volcanic outgassing and impact events replaced the predominantly hydrogen based atmosphere with nitrogen and carbon dioxide. By about 2.4 billion years ago, the third and third atmosphere started to form. The next one is oxygen cost the first major extinction. Until around 2.4 billion years ago, there was already no oxygen in the atmosphere. Nonetheless, microscopic life was well established, including photosynthesis in cyanobacteria. Creating oxygen through photosynthesis is organisms which are responsible for creating algae transform the planet atmosphere. Until the great oxygen event, oxygen had been trapped by water as it created rust from iron deposits, preventing it from being freed into the atmosphere. At that time, most life was anaerobic for which oxygen can be toxic. Thus, while this event made the world habitable for us today, it also saw the Earth first mass extinction. The next one is global was once much greater. While mankind has precised over a 60% in increased CO2 levels since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. The greenhouse effect has throughout most of our history been much stronger than it is today. During the Cambrian period, we saw one of the biggest evolutionary radiance of all time. CO2 levels were 11 times higher than today. Consequently, the world was 7 degrees C warmer. There was no ice at the post and sea levels were much higher. Hundreds of millions of years later, during the time of the large dinosaurs, they are still almost 5 times higher than today. Eventually, however, the world could hailing in the ongoing quaternary ice age. The next one is the sky should be violet. The reason is the sky is blue down to the phenomenon called relic scattering at time coined after the 19th century British physicist who first explained it. Sun's light represents every color of the visible spectrum but colors with shorter Wavelengths such as blue and violet are scattered by the atmosphere in such a way that they overpower those with longer wavelengths like red and orange. However, given that violet is the shortest wavelength of any color, shouldn't we all be seeing the sky as purple? The reason we see blue rather than purple is down to our physiology. The human eye is more sensitive to blue light than to violet. The next one is the atmosphere extent 6200 miles into space. The Earth's atmosphere consists of five layers from the lowest to the highest. These are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. The outermost layer extends from about 430 miles or 700 km above sea level to around 6200 miles or 10,000 km, where it finally gives way to the solar wind. The exosphere is still considered part of the atmosphere because the few gaseous particles within it are still gravitationally bound to earth. However, some scientists consider the lower layer, the thermosphere, to be the highest layer of the atmosphere. The thermosphere is home to the entire space station in low earth orbit. The next one is oxygen levels used to be much higher. Earth oxygen is a byproduct 
photosynthesis with the absence of large plants oxygen levels remain low when well after the great oxygenation event however when life started colonizing the land in the form of vast plant forest during the devonian period oxygen levels started to skyrocket during the carboniferous around 300 million years ago they reached their highest level level of 32.5 percent this was a result of nature spiraling out of control leading to a volatile world where forest fires would have been rife burning for days in the sky high oxygen atmosphere and giving the sky a bluish reddish color the next one is blood boils after 60000 feet all terrestrial life of on earth has adapted to a comfortable air pressure equal to the one atmosphere where water boils boils at a 100 degrees c as elevation increases air pressures get lower as do as boiling points at the top of mount everest some 29000 feet above 9000 meter water boils at 72 degrees c however ascend to an elevation of around 60000 feet or 18000 meter and you will reach the so called armstrong limit where the air pressure drops to a level that deadly without a pressure suit this is because at this pressure bodily fluids such as saliva and blood boil at the normal human body temperature of 37 degrees c unsurprisingly that this typically means death within a minute the next one is with elevation it gets hotter after getting colder everyone knows that it get, gets colder the higher it ascend but the warmest temperatures are actually found in the thermosphere the coldest region a contrast is found at the border between the mesosphere and thermosphere some 62 miles or 100 km above sea level water temperatures reach a frigid minus 100 degrees c however the thermosphere sees by far the greatest temperature fluctuations of all sometimes reaching a peak of 2500 centigrade although it wouldn't feel hot due to the region being a near vacuum the high temperatures are due to intense solar radiations which would be deadly to life on earth if it were not for our atmosphere the next one is it protects us from meteors from lethal solar radiation to low pressure and extreme temperatures, our atmosphere serves as a protective blanket safeguarding us from the inhospitable expanse of the great beyond. Fortunately, the atmosphere also protects us from another type of disaster, impact events. Earth's atmosphere burns up almost all the meteoroids and space junk that encounter it. This is due to atmospheric friction burning up smaller objects in temperature reaching. 1650 degrees C, of course. There are also objects that are too large or moving too fast for the atmosphere to burn up before they hit the surface, as the dinosaurs found out 66 million years ago. Next one is there is 40 trillion gallons of water in the sky. Of all the chemicals on earth, there is 40 trillion gallons of water in the sky. Of all the chemicals on earth, water has the most profound implications for the evolution of life as we know it. Nothing on the planet can live without water, but it's also the fact that our atmosphere and distance from the sun helps to maintain a temperature around the triple point of water. This means water can exist as a solid, liquid or gas. The atmosphere is home to an average of almost 40 trillion gallons or 150 trillion liters of water at any one time, which is true enough to draw on the entire planet in an inch of rain water. However, while it sounds like a lot, atmospheric water vapor only accounts for 0.001% of the all water earth. So guys, this all the 10 fascinating facts about the atmosphere. Hope you like this video. And if you like this video, obviously like this video. 
and do subscribe our YouTube channel for this more interesting facts about our earth, about our universe, about astronomy and many more things. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.